Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, something in the heavyweight division that probably flew under the radar for most, right? We got my boy, y'all know I roll with Joe, Joseph Parker, about to fight your boy, um, Derek Chisura, you know, the glorified journeyman, Derek Chisura, you know, because Derek Chisura done lost about 13 fights, but he's still getting big fights, and he was close fight when he had with uh, Joseph Parker. Now, they've had weigh-in, and Joseph Parker come in weigh in more than he ever has, 10 pounds more. I don't know what he's trying to do there. He looks fat to me. Um, but um, Joseph Parker's never been a body beautiful. But I don't know if he's trying to, you know, the weight is to try to get him up out of there. You know, he hangs with Tyson Fury a lot, which I don't like. Uh, and maybe, you know, Tyson Fury, when he goes into rematches, he also puts on weight. Um, you know, he did it against John McDermott, who we'll get to, and uh, Deontay Wilder. But, okay, right? Let's see what happens. Derek Chisora is getting ready for that fight, and he thinks he's going to uh, knock Joseph Parker out. But Derek Chisora did something I think is more significant than what he's about to do for this fight. Derek Chisora came out, and he called Tyson Fury a cheater, right? Tyson Fury a cheater, right? And let's get to his quote right away. He said, the Tyson I boxed at the time was a cheating B, and I think he means bastard. Basically, I called him a B bastard or bitch, I'm not sure, for that time, but the Tyson now is a cool guy. I like him, said Derek Chisura on the zone. Maybe just because he's a billionaire, he's a millionaire now. The old broke Tyson is a bastard. He's a cheating B. But that's between me and him. Anyway, he knows what he did and I don't like it. So that was his quote. Now this article that I'm reading, I'm going to put it in the description box so I don't have to read it. This article is saying that he's talking about the fouling that Tyson Fury did. He never said what it was, but the article is basically saying why you're complaining years later. No one cares about your complaining. Yeah, we know, right? Tyson Fury doesn't matter. But listen, the Tyson Fury is a cheat line. It's long. So Derek Chisura is at the back somewhere talking about, you know, can I get in here? Uh, what's up at the front of the line, right? <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of characters that have said Tyson Fury has cheated. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really disappointed in most of these boxers, though. When, you know, when the boxers are just letting people say he's the very best heavyweight and we have too many instances of him being called a cheater, being proven as to being a cheater, be, he's a dope cheat anyway. We know that. The BBOC, BBBOC, British Board, Boxing Board of Control, and UKAD, United Kingdom Anti-Doping Agency, he's suspended from fighting in... Uh, he doesn't even have a license for the UK because he failed a doping test from Nandrolone and cocaine. So, you know, we know that he's a cheater, right? Everyone has said something about it. Let me just give you a couple of names. You had John McDermott. This is a white British guy that he boxed uh, to a draw. Well, no, I think he won the first fight and he shouldn't have. So they had a rematch and John McDermott <clears throat> uh, said that he cheated with the gloves. No one wants to interview this guy. That's John McDermott. You go to Nicholas Asbury, right? This is a brother. I don't know if I think he's American, right? Black dude, my sparring partner. On all videos, pretty much, it shouldn't even have to be on the internet. It's so, so many people have seen it. It's damn near mainstream media. Nicholas Asbury has complained about him cheating and training with the gloves. And the people even told him, Tyson Fury's people told him, we're trying to give him confidence. This is not, you know, you can find this information. That's a, a sparring partner showing you. The, the, the gloves, right? Uh, let's go to another brother, Eddie Cotton. Rest in peace. He's, he passed away. Eddie Cotton, one of the, uh, one uh, good referee, big big guy. Uh, matter of fact, I, but I didn't like Eddie Cotton when he was refereeing Mike Tyson versus um, Lennox Lewis. Thought he was cheating for Tyson in that fight, to be honest. But Eddie Eddie Cotton was the guy who was refereeing Steve Cunningham versus Tyson Fury. After the fight, he said Tyson Fury is the dirtiest fighter he ever had to ref. Why would he say that? Just out of nowhere. He's the dirtiest fighter he ever would have to ref, ref, right? So, you know, that's one. And so, at, you know, obviously Steve Cunningham, the, the cruiserweight who went up to fight big old Tyson Fury, was cheated on. All kind of elbows and, and dirty tactics in that fight. So Steve Cunningham would also say he's a cheater. What about the referee for the Christian Hammer fight who caught Tyson Fury's glove being tampered with at the beginning of the fight and was disgusted? Now, I haven't uh, got his name right now, but the referee from the Christian Hammer fight. Anybody wants to do that, just Google 
or, or Christian Hammer versus Tyson Fury, and you don't have to watch what. Just watch the beginning of the fight, and you'll see that he pulls his gloves and find that he's tampered with his gloves. There's somebody. We also know that Deontay Wilder said that he cheated, right, in both fights, and we have proof of it, right? Now you have Chizura saying that he cheated, right? And you have uh, Martin Carefoot, right? That's that farmer, white, old British guy, 70 years old, who said, I did not give him wild boar meat, so that's not the reason he, he uh, tested positive for Nandrolone, because they were saying that, you know, you, he, they tested positive, Tyson Fury and his, bro, and his uh, cousin Huey Fury, they tested positive because they had uncastrated uh, wild boar. And they got it from this guy, Martin Carefoot. But they forgot to pay him the 25,000 pounds that they promised him. So he came out and wanted to tell the truth. Now, he retracted it after a while because people was coming to his house. And that would lead me to the, the, the guy that's an alleged mob boss, Daniel Kinahan, that Tyson Fury also was doing business with until recently. So, you know, we got that's about 10 people, right? Because, you know, when you count the USAD and the UKAD and the BBBOC, right? That's a lot of people, and I've probably missed some. So at what point are we going to say that this guy is a cheat? Now, when it comes back to Deontay Wilder, y'all know I roll with Deontay Wilder, but I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed that Deontay Wilder did not use his energy to sue. You get these people, some of these names that I mentioned, and you get them under oath, right? You get a whole bunch of people under oath, and you find out what happened to them gloves. Because, see... But people don't realize, right? I was talking to a guy the other day, you know, and um, I hadn't seen him for a while. And he, I remember, you know, we talk about boxing. He's a casual. He looks a little bit more MMA and UFC and stuff like that. He's a little bit casual. But casuals, you know, they'll let you know what they would, you know, they ain't really into boxing, but let somebody win. Like when Tyson Fury beat Deontay Wilder, he was ecstatic. You know, hey, see, hey, you know, he beat him. He beat him fair and square this time, see? You know, so he's all hyped. Now I was trying to tell him, yeah, well, it's not really fair and square to me. Fair and square would be if they just was fair and square the first two fights. Deontay Wilder is damaged goods now. If you, I, you have a dent in your head, which means you probably won't have the same punch resistance as you had before. Though that's important. That's why it was important for Deontay Wilder to take him to court to find out what happened, if something happened or not, to get to the bottom of it. Don't just move on, right? Because that's what. Most Caucasian people have the luxury of having people forgiving them and moving the hell on. We got some that want to take over the country. We have half of our Congress, half of the lawmakers don't want them to investigate what happened on January 6th when people are trying to take over the country and half of them damn uh, senators, lawmakers, were helping them in treason and we're supposed to move on from that. But a dude robbed a liquor store and took $200, we got to put him in jail, right? Cops putting stuff. I told you about a cop. I'm going to say it again. 120 times putting some crystal meth in somebody's car. This is in Florida, in different people's cars, right? Somebody found out about it, you know, because of uh, the camera that they have on them, told the DA. The DA got mad at the lawyer who found that out and told them, what the hell, it's not your job to be looking behind our cops. But 120 times I mean I damn near do that daily. And then they'd want to leave the people who had crystal meth in their trunk in jail. Right? These kind of people are in charge. I said DA, right? District Attorney for the whole damn state. Right? Was, was okay with the cop putting stuff in somebody's car 120 damn times. Those are stats what I'm talking about. We got people all over the place. Well, it really, the half of Congress is okay with treason. Right? Because of the reason. And the reason being, it was just a few white boys. And that's the bottom line. We can't keep letting people get away with it and just moving on. And we grab the next damn basketball game talking about, you know, the national anthem. I ain't standing up for that. And I ain't standing next to somebody who would like to enslave me. You understand? It has to be repercussions. After everybody goes to damn jail and all them congressmen never work no more, then we can talk. But until then, I'm sick of the liquor store guy going to jail and these people who are destroying everything, the American experiment of democracy, destroying it worldwide. And we're sitting there looking at it. 
and got the nerve to be standing up to the national anthem. Nope, I want them to get a Confederate national anthem, and then we got one. Or they can have that one, and we change it. Then we can move on. Right? And that going back to boxing, this is the worst stuff that you can do. Tampering with gloves and being dope in a contact sport. And all we got to do, we keep looking away, and the guy, this is a, the biggest guy in there. Biggest, heaviest guy running around. It's a couple, maybe one or two heavier than him. I think Houston off might be heavier than him. Jarrell Miller might be heavier than him. But 6'9", 270 uh, most of the damn time. That's a huge guy to be cheating to. Now, everybody is not lying on the man. So my bottom line is, these are the kind of things that irk me. We're not supposed to let him get away with that. And I take issue with some people to act like he's the very best champion. Because I'm going for the guy who was never doped, right? Skinnier than everybody and knocking everybody out. Deontay Wilder all day, every day. Because he ain't been cheating. He's um, he been fighting people that's been doped all the damn time. You know how I many people were trying to fight Deontay Wilder got caught doping? Because they was about to fight Deontay Wilder about four or five. And, and, and it's more. Deontay just didn't tell on him. Think about that. He was supposed to be talking about, hey, I can tell him, he, but he trying to be cool. I ain't telling on him. I'm just knock him out anyway. And that backfired messing around with Tyson Fury because Tyson Fury is a bad dude because he's a good boxer and he's bigger. You see what I'm saying? He's bigger than you, but he's a good damn boxer on top of it. So we don't need that guy cheating because if that guy can cheat too, then he, he going to rule. So let's see what you think about it. And if we what the hell we going to do about it? Tyson Fury is called a cheater from De Derek Chisora as well. So that puts him in the Tyson Fury is a cheater line, which means he probably, you know, he's been in the back somewhere. It's going to take him all day to get to the, to the entrance. But um, just another person. I think that's significant. What do you think? Doma Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.